Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about the experimental explanation of JK flip-flop. Let us start. First of all, the logic circuit diagram of JK flip-flop. We have four RAND gates, NAND gate number 1, 2, 3 and 4. The first two NAND gates that means gate number 1 and gate number 2 are having three inputs whereas gate number 3 and gate number 4 are having two inputs as per the given connections. The inputs are J, K and the clock signal where the feedback has also been connected as Q and Q bar with our input gates. Now the truth table. When the clock signal is 0, doesn't matter what is the value of J and K. That means don't care term. The output will remain the previous output that we were having. That means no change condition. The previous output will remain the next output as well. Now when we have start applying the clock signal, now here our JK flip-flop will start working. So the first case is when J is 0, K is 0. So this is the same condition. That means no change condition. That means the next output will remain as it is as we were having the previous output. Next condition is 0, 1. Yes, the clock is 1 for that. So for 0, 1, output is 0. Next is 1, 0. This is when clock is 1, J is 1 and K is 0. Output is 1. And the last is 1, 1. So 1, 1 is known as toggle condition also represented as Q n bar that means it will invert this is known as toggle condition so this is what we need to verify with the help of JK flip-flop experiment the pin diagram requirement we require two pins two ICs for the explanation of JK flip-flop experiment one is IC number 7410 which is a three input NAND gate and the second one is IC number 7400 which is 2 input NAND gate. So let us talk about 7410 first. So in 7410 we have total 3 gates as you can see over here. 3 input gates. So gate number 1, pin number 1, 2 and 13 input, 12 output. Next pin number 3, 4 and 5 input, 6 output. And the last gate is 9 10, 11 input and 8 output. Hence, with the help of a single IC 7410, we can implement total 3, 3 input NAND gates. On the other hand, if I talk about 7400, we can have total 4 gates. As you can see over here, we have four, total 4 gates, 2 inputs, in which 2 inputs are available. So, 1, 2 input, 3 output. 4, 5 input, 6 output, then we have 9, 10 input, 8 output and then 12, 13 input and 11 output. Yes, do not forget to connect VCC and ground at pin number 14 and pin number 7 respectively to both the ICs. So, these are the two ICs that you require for the experiment. The characteristic truth table. For the characteristic truth table, what we are supposed to verify over here, you can have a look over here. When J is 0, K is 0. So, I am just going to take the help from the previous truth table which I have just discussed. And all these cases will just be mentioning for clock is equal to 1. And this is known as characteristic truth table. So, the first case is when J is 0, K is 0. Output is no change condition. So, what is the meaning of no change condition? Here QN is our previous condition and QN plus 1 is our next condition. So, for J is 0, K is 0, output is no change. What is the meaning of no change? If the previous was 0, next will remain 0. If the previous was 1, next will remain 1. Next is 0, 1. For 0, 1, you can see the output is 0. For 0, 1, output is 0. For 0, 1, output is 0. The third condition is when J is 1, K is 0. So, when J is 1, K is 0, output is 1. So, you can have a look over here that both the outputs are 1. When J is 1 and K is 0 and the last one is 1, 1 that is known as toggle. So, what is toggle? If the previous output was 0, next will be 1 and if the previous output was 1, next will become equal to 0. This is known as the toggle condition. 
Next is the connections. Now let us talk about the connections, how we can make all these connections. And uh, I have already written all the pin numbers as already discussed for the pin diagrams in our JK flip-flop logic circuit diagram. So as already discussed, we will be using 7410 IC and 7400 IC. And here we have gate number 1, gate number 2 as pin diagram of 7410. Similarly, gate number 1 and gate number 2 of 7400. So, here we have 1, 2, 13 input, 12 output, 3, 4, 5 input, 6 output. So, these are the pin numbers of 7410. Similarly, the pin numbers of 7400, we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 input, 3 output, 4, 5, 6. So, 4, 5 input, 6 output. So, these are going to be the connections while performing the JK flip-flop experiment and do not forget to connect VCC and ground. So that means pin number 13 of 7410 will be connected with pin number 6 of 7400, pin number 1 connected with J, pin number 2 and pin number 3 both are short-circuited with each other and hence connected with clock, pin number 4 connected with input K, pin number 5 of 7410 is connected with pin number 3 of 7400. So, these are the first connections of 7410. Next, pin number 12 from 7410 is connected with pin number 1 of 7400. Pin number 2 of 7400 is connected with pin number 6 of 7400. Similarly, pin number 6 of 7410 is connected with pin number 5 of 7400 and pin number 4 of 7400 is going to be connected with pin number 3 of 7400. And finally, Q is going to be your output signal. So, you will be receiving 0, 0, no change condition, 0, 1, output 0, 1, 0, output 1 and for 1, 1, that is toggle condition. So, this is how your JK flip-flop experiment is going to work on your digital trainer kit. Thank you so much.